So it's 2008, um, it's October. Uh, the whole month of September is just really bad sick, throwing up. We were going to the hospital maybe three or four times a week, getting tanked up on fluids. They kept saying it was a stomach bug. They sent a helicopter, picked him up, and about 2.30 that morning, they found the, the brain tumor. Um, but we didn't know that it was cancerous until, you know, a good bit after. 19-month-old Elijah Serrett was diagnosed with a medulla blastoma. He would have surgery three days later. The tumor was so large and it's so evasive, and then it had to be an invasive surgery to get it out. Um, and it's just a lot of damage, a whole lot of damage. Elijah would have more than a dozen surgeries over the next few months, including stem cell transplants. Doctors said he may never walk again without assistance. He didn't make a sound or a peep for about three months. It was a Saturday afternoon. The UAB Blazer basketball team was playing at Bartu Arena. Elijah and his family were at the game. It was a UTEP game, went triple overtime, and that was his first game. It was a UTEP game went into triple overtime, and we were sitting so close to the student section, it was so loud, you know. This was the first time that, that we had seen him um, show any kind of emotions. He was so excited at that game. Uh, he took his shirt off, he saw the student section. He took his shirt off, he was waving it around. The Blazers had two wins that day. They won the basketball game, but they also won the heart and the love of a little boy who was beating the odds in his fight against cancer. That game was just, it was really special to us to see him, uh, to show that kind of emotion like that. The UAB basketball family formed a very special bond with Elijah. He is now part of their family, and it shows after every home game. So they'll come back in the locker room and uh, hear my post-game talk and, and uh, listen to the guys and high-five the guys and hang out with them afterwards. And uh, just, you know, we don't let anybody in the locker room, uh, really, except for Elijah and his family. But Hass wanted to do more, to bring attention to Elijah's fight. So he got the idea for his players to wear different colored shoes on game day to raise awareness for pediatric cancer. The team gave Elijah his very own pair. He was ecstatic, that smile on his face lit up like it always does, and he's just always wearing them around us. So to see him with those shoes on, when we have our shoes on, it just makes you take a deeper look into life. Um, there's times when there's a lot of bigger things than basketball, uh, but at the same time, you can do a lot of things through basketball. And uh, that's what we're trying to do, just uh, raise awareness. My job as a head coach is to make sure that uh, we think about community service, that we think about the academic part of things. Uh, this has been something that has been something that's been very important to our guys and I think they've really embraced the idea of, uh, and enjoyed the idea of, of, of tackling a concept and idea that's bigger than themselves. But I know when he comes in his locker room he's always excited and he's always the first person to put his hand in, in the middle and uh, when he does come to, he comes to almost every game, but to see him and he always has his two different color shoes on, his UAB gear supporting and Always the first person Coach has or anybody talks to as soon as you get in the locker room after wins. On this night in Bartow Arena, in front of a packed crowd, with their number one fan watching, UAB celebrated victory. Then they celebrated Elijah's birthday in the locker room, complete with a birthday cake. It's Elijah's birthday, he turns nine today, so that's, that's, that's big time. For me, uh, birthdays are really, really special. There's a there's a lot of kids that, uh, that didn't make it. Um, they never made it out of the hospital. So the year that he was diagnosed, there were 380 kids right here in Birmingham fighting cancer. And a lot of them never made it home. So birthdays are really, really special for us. Can't imagine um, the life he's had so far. Um, doesn't even compare through my 20 years of life uh, and probably won't ever in my entire lifetime. But um, just how strong a kid he is, um, just brings us, you know, strength and power and courage to the whole team.